Hi, my name is Thierry Gibraltar, an engineer and aspiring photographer and videographer based in Tokyo, Japan. And today I'm teaching you how I edit my pictures in Lightroom to make them look like cyberpunk. So if you've clicked on this video, I assume that you know about Cyberpunk uh, 2077, uh, which is a game that was released uh, recently on several platforms. Uh, I didn't have uh, the chance to play that game actually, but I watched it uh, on YouTube, as many people do, and I was really fascinated by the colors, by the mood. So I decided to create some edit on my own. Uh, to replicate that kind of uh, mood in my pictures and uh, over on Instagram so you can check my Instagram um, I got some messages and some uh, inquiries of people to explain how I did that uh, that particular edits so that's why I made this video so today that's what I'm going to teach you how to edit your pictures like cyberpunk in Adobe Lightroom and by the way, if you haven't watched my previous video where I explain uh, how I usually edit uh, all my pictures in Lightroom in five simple steps, uh, I invite you to watch it. So it will be right in this corner. You can watch it and then come back to this video if you want. It will be easier for you to understand my editing process. All right, so if you guys are ready, let's just jump into Lightroom and make sure you stay until the end of the video because I will share with you the presets that we create today together. Let's go. Okay, so right now I, uh, I'm on my computer and to understand the cyberpunk look, I will try to comment a bit on this picture that I have right here that will be on your screen. So basically when I look at this picture, uh, I see, well, really dark shadows with low contrast, a lot of lights, um, highlights are actually quite saturated a lot of colors, um, actually not much of dark blue, but more light blue, cyan blue, right? Uh, a lot of red, pink. Um, yeah, so in the shadows, I think for my picture to get that look, I will try to add some, uh, some, some cyan blue. And in my highlights, basically keep the color as they are. So that's kind of the look that I, I will go for. And uh, also what we can see is that we have a lot of texture here. We also have a lot of clarity. So the image is really clear, really sharp and quite rough, right? So that's the kind of look I want to go for. Okay, so now I just opened Lightroom and I chose a picture that would be kind of a similar mood. Uh, so this is a picture that I took in Shinjuku uh, with the, um, the X-T4 and the XF 56 mm f1.2. Uh, so it's basically, uh, the scene is, uh, well, busy Shinjuku by night under the rain uh, with someone crossing, uh, well, crosswalk, right? So I, choosed, I chose this picture because I think I can give the same kind of mood because there's many lights, it's by night, it's rainy, and, uh, well, you have a big difference between the highlights and the shadows, which is what you have on the uh, cyberpunk uh, kind of picture, right? So I'm gonna try to transform this picture now from what you see uh, right now on your screen uh, to uh, the kind of similar look to the cyberpunk uh, image. All right, so let's just uh, jump right into the edit. Okay, so opening, uh, so I think right now I don't want to crop more uh, this picture. I just want to play with it as it is. So um, compared to the other picture there, I think that I need to uh, play a bit with the exposure, the highlights, right? I want some saturated highlights, but not too much because in this picture, like the highlights are actually quite saturated. Um, okay, decreasing a bit the shadow to have this darker mood. Let's play with the whites. I don't want them to be too harsh. Blacks, okay. So that's quite dark now, but I will come back to that later. Decrease a bit the exposure. 
Now I go to the curves and the reason why is I want to have that low contrast look that I talked about uh, before, right? So low contrast look, increase a little bit the highlights to have this S curve on my, I mean, on my curves, right? Um, and as I said before, um, the cyberpunk images have like this kind of blue, um, blue color in the shadow, right? So I'm going to play a bit with the curves, I think, to uh, add this, uh, add this mood to my picture. So I want to get more pink also, more red and more pink in my highlights. So I'm trying to play now with the curves to achieve that look. So now I'm trying to add some blue in the shadow, that's way too much. So some blue in the shadow to uh, match the look of Cyberpunk, as I said. It's not going to be totally blue, I will move the blue later to, towards the cyan, cyan color. But right now this is what I'm trying to add, add some blue in the shadow to, to get a more moody look kind of picture. Here. Okay, I'll move towards the color correction a little bit just to check. Mm, okay, I'll add a bit of this. Mm. Yeah, I'm just looking for which, which part of the highlight right now is gonna add, uh, give me the most uh, red and pink uh, towards the highlight ring. Okay, that's what I need to add right now. Okay, adding a little bit more pink and a little tiny bit more yellow just to have more color in the highlights because I feel like there's too much white. Okay, so now I'm playing with the actual colors. So I just want the colors to be more vivid. To saturate them a bit more, a bit more luminance too, not too much. Move that yellow toward the orange to give a nice tone. Not much green in that picture, so yeah, not playing with it much. Okay, so now I'm reaching the blue. So as I said, there's no dark blue in the cyberpunk. Um, look that I can see in the, the picture there. So I'm going to try to move that blue towards the cyan, cyan, cyan. Sorry for the pronunciation. Up and a bit more luminance. Okay. And now I want more pink in my image, so move that a bit towards the pink. So now you can see we start having those popping colors that I was talking about. Everything starts popping, everything looks a bit neon. That's okay, I'll move to the effects right now. Um, okay. So texture, as I said before, the look of this picture is quite harsh, right? So there needs to be some texture, there needs to be some clarity. Not too much, I don't want it to be like too harsh, but there needs to be some to actually look poppy, right? I'm sorry if that's... Is that even a word? I don't know, but it looks poppy to me. And that, now I decrease a bit the dehaze because I want to like have kind of a blurry, not too blurry picture, but like with a higher like overall light. A bit of vignetting because at the end, I mean, I want to attract 
um, the um, attention to my subject and a bit of grain for the filmy, film moody look. Okay, I'm just playing again with the, the, the colors now just to make sure that okay, I, know I don't miss anything, that by changing the, the effects that there's nothing that uh, gets wrong, sharpen a bit. Yeah, I think the look-wise it starts looking okay, but I feel like there's not much, there's not enough light to my subject. So I'm going to add some light to the subject itself. So I'm just using a, a circle gradient here, focusing on my subject, and I'll increase a bit the exposure uh, and the shadows of that subject so that the eyes go, go towards that subject a bit more. Okay. Some highlights, shadow also but not too much. I don't want it to be too too grainy, right? Like not like that. Clarity, yeah. now our subject is a bit more separated from, from the background. So you can see that your eyes catches that subject a bit more. I like that. A little bit more black. And I think that's about it. That's kind of the look that I wanted to achieve. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you learned something today. And by the way, let me know in the comment what was the most difficult point or the point that you cannot replicate well if you're trying to replicate the edits that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so if you like that, that uh, video and learn something, uh, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a little comment to let me know what you like and what you did not like. And I'll see you in the next video then. Bye.